Well, Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It, it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Oh, we're going into Wood Tick. Mm -hmm. Don't go on that bridge. There's like a, oh, don't. Oh. oh, we're going into. Oh, we're going into Wood Tick. Welcome to Wood Tick. Welcome to Wood Tick. No treasure hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't- Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse, right? Yes. This is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We had like two like full-time programmers who were doing nothing but programming the iMuse transitions. Cause like, game. it's a main theme outside, and then every time you go into one of these inner locations or inside the, the house, it would enable or disable instruments, and it right. would change the theme a little right. bit. Right, right. Yeah, no, iMuse was, like, absolutely amazing. But we, they put a lot of work into it, and they decided never to do it again. Because they're like, no one noticed. <laughs> I noticed. Yeah, I did. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? Help! Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you! <laughs> That's a good one! Maybe I won't kill you right now! Whoa. Hey, you're loaded! This is my lucky night! Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Thrifty day for the treasure hunter on a budget.
Nice peg leg. Nice peg leg. Thanks. I made it myself. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. Comfortable looking chair. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. What do you think you're doing? It's not for sale. What do you think you're doing? It's not for sale. Hey, don't touch that. It's adjusted to my height. Get away from there. It's adjusted to my height. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. What do you think you're doing? No one touches her but me. <clears throat> yeah? Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh, I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Oh, no, you don't. Nice craftsmanship. I made it myself. Oh, no, you don't. What do you think you're doing? Everything's laid out just how I need it. Nice, sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Oh, no, you don't. It's not a toy. Oh, no, you don't. I need all of them. <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. The shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it. But it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. It's the law. And let's just say I want to keep on the good side of it. Why? Because the law around here isn't the law at all. It's Largo. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week.
Lardo reminds me of someone from like old like the Barry Boys movies. You know, Barry Boys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or Squiggy from Little Bird and Shirley. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh my god. I just realized that's where I stole the intro to Full Throttle. Like, I pull C. <laughs> that's embarrassing. The way he pulls his nose down to the bar, it's totally. Oh, huh. how embarrassing. I totally stole that whole Quahog thing from uh, Monkey 2. Just also a lot of foreshadowing with the spitting and the spitting contest and oh, yeah. all There's of those sp- things in there. Where's the spittoon? Oh no, the spit over there on the left hand side. Oh, yeah. Did we do a close up of the spit flying or did we cut that? No, that was there. Was that you oh, were, you I was were watching paying attention. you guys. I was mesmerized. <laughs> One of the greatest things about this game was the shirt that we did with the uh, three di- three dimensional puffy spit oh, and on the, it. And, dripping down. and the yeah. monkeys down the sleeve. It's a great day for spitting. That was the monkey one shirt. With was the, that the monkey, monkey one? Monkey one was a tasteful sleeves. shirt that you could wear outside. The monkey two yeah. shirt no, that the, you just folded up new and put away in a box because it was so <laughs> gross. It had well, there gobs the, of spit all over it. There yeah. were the puffy monkeys everybody. down the sleeve. Was that monkey one? That was, one? Mon- that was one? monkey yeah. one, yeah, the long sleeve one. Monkey two we did and we didn't get approval for it and people in management were mad afterwards. They're like, that is the grossest shirt ever. I can't believe you made that. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning, but if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. In that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Sorry, kid. Largo's been here. Largo's been here. I don't want to touch it with my hands. It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. It's a metronome. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Hey! Hired help only! A 
okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse. Right? Yes. This mm-hmm. is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We had like two like full-time programmers who were doing nothing but programming the iMuse. Hello. I love Wally the cartographer. Wally has just been taken so much abuse over the course of the series. It just seems to be. <laughs> well, you know, we cut that it. stuff at the end of the game with, you know, him on the raft and all that. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh huh. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Where do you think it's buried? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. Wow. That's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world, and there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too! Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy-fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. How's business? Terrible! No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With a sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood, shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. 
where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Is Longitude the sideways one, or is that Latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Who couldn't? <laughs> Only sissies use maps. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Nice monocle. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Everything looks all blurry. Everything looks all blurry. Yeah, me too. Where is that thing? It's too small. I swear I put it right here. It's too small. I hope I didn't lose it. I'll never be able to afford a new one. I've got enough. How am I supposed to work? Nice map. Yep. Dang. I'm such a dope. Nice map. I like it too. Can't I do anything right? I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. 
But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate-covered ants? Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. No ticket, no laundry. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. It won't fit in my pocket. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Wake up! What is it? Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Then what happened? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. How much longer is this story? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already! He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right, performing. 
In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm. Terraphermophobia? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcophobia. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. That wouldn't be wise. Nice. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. And that's securely fastened. And that's securely fastened. I think all he wants right now is sleep. Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. I don't think I'd get away with that. Be with you in a second. You're supposed to leave these things open. I have to have a room first. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Busy guy. I'm not holding it. Oh, isn't that cute? And it's securely fastened. I'm not holding it. Buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Get away from there. It's not a toy. Thank you. 
Thanks. Here's a piece of aid for your trouble. Oh, shoot. I bet my mom would help me find it. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. I can't reach it. I've lost my monocle again. Demon weenies, 20 feet. I can't pick that up. He's back. I ever tell you about the time I kicked LeChuck's butt? Look, Guybrush, besides the fact that we'd all rather die than hear that story again, there's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Largo Legrand is back on Scab. He used to be LeChuck's right-hand man. You don't want to get Largo on your bad side. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no, not this story again. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named Captain Dredd. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye pads. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. Do you guys know any piratey songs? 
Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you'll listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to rot. That was beautiful. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Okay, here's one about a pirate, his parrot, and a tragic day at sea. You're not gonna sing Polly the Squawker lives in Davy Jones' locker, are you? You know that one always makes me cry. Sorry, Bart. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Let me try one. Oh, 100 bottles of beer on the wall. 100 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 42. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, 42 bottles of beer on the wall. 42 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 508. 508 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 508 bottles of beer on the wall. 508 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 507 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 507 bottles of beer on the wall. Four. Four bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Three bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, three bottles of beer on the wall. Three bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Two bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, two bottles of beer on the wall. Two bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 508. 508 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 508 bottles of beer on the wall. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I was done. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? Wrap Scallion Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Looks closed. I'll just take a little. It appears to be bolted to the table. Display model. No thanks. I don't need it. No thanks. I don't need it. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. Guy brush Threepwood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me.
How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. Great Recipes from the International House of Mojo, page 139. Aunt Helen's Special Voodoo Doll Mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Looks like it's been sealed shut. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. It looks like it's been sealed shut. I don't want to polish that. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. Stan's Casual Crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Stan's casual crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. Here lies Nibbles the dog. He was a bad dog. We're glad he's dead. Stan's casual crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. The Grave of the Unknown Cabin Boy. The Grave of the Unknown Drunk Guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. This is creepy feeling.
I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Oh so god, I forgot about the graveyard. Going. This is like the greatest scene ever. Why are the bats making different sounds here? Okay, so why This is, is another thing we scene? fought over. I thought the pants thing, I didn't think that was funny. I think the pants thing And you thing thought it was the hilarious. best thing in the whole game. I did. I did, and I still do. I still do. I actually use this as an example sometimes when I'm, when I'm talking to people. What you used to think people. was funny and that realize it's not funny? No, it's like the pinnacle of humor. <laughs> there once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed. She got buried. No man commanded jean Louise, not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. Routes. No trespassing. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. brought me any more ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Captain Quite Dredd. We eventually I never liked his name. Captain Dredd? No? That's a yeah. great name. I never liked his name. Captain Dredd. It's that's a great both name. scary pirate name You're wrong. and dreadlocks. Maybe you don't realize this, but those big chunks of hair are called dreadlocks. I think I think it was because of the <laughs> pun was too obvious. Oh, there's something too obvious, not subtle enough in Monkey Island for you, pants dropper. Right. <laughs> well, it's because you're missing all the symbolism of the pants dropping. The thing I didn't and like was that you never see his face except for the very beginning. His head is turned the whole time. I'm like, this is so disconcerting to see just the back of his head. He could just have his that? head. He could... 
are you Captain Dredd? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dredd. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Navy dreads. Thanks, man. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Lago has an embargo on the island. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Everything looks all blurry. Nice. I don't, don't want to polish that. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. If only I could use this stuff on my lines. I think it's yo-yo string. Doesn't seem to work. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. Hey! Hired help only! pocket. Well, I don't want to polish that. I think it's yo-yo string. doesn't seem to work.
It's just a bucket. I think it's yo-yo string. It's a cold potato and leek soup. It's a cold potato and leek soup. I hate bishy swaz. It's too heavy. I'm no cook. I bet it weighs half a ton. I hate fruit cocktail. polish that. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Excuse me. I said leave me alone. He looks really into his cooking. How old pig biter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. It's already open. you into my room I uh, thought it was my room well it ain't so get the f out of here I don't want to steal his bell I feel bad enough setting his alligator free you're supposed to leave these things open I don't need any more Fit in my pocket. He 
It would take forever to hack through it with this knife. Cold soup. Excuse me. I said, leave me alone. He looks really into his cooking. The barkeep might see me. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever going to get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great, job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. I hate fruit cocktail. Ugh, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. Yuck, the rat's been swimming in it. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. The fire's out. I bet it weighs half a ton. I'm no cook. I'm no cook. I'm no cook. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Oh no you don't. I need all of them. Hey, don't touch that. It's not for sale. What do you think you're doing? It's not for sale. Sorry, I don't give refunds. No, thanks. Everything looks all blurry. Sharp. Nice. It's just a bucket.
for crying out loud. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no. Be my guest. If you see my monocle, let me know. I hope it didn't roll onto the floor. Nobody move. I can't believe somebody would steal it. I'd go for help, but I'm afraid to walk around like this. I'm stuck here forever. I'm going to starve to death in here. I'm going to die hungry, blind and alone. Why me? I never hurt anyone. Rats! This stinks! If I don't find it soon, I'm going to lose all the monocle-grabbing muscles in my eye. Here, monocle. Here, boy. Crud. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no. Be my guest. If you see my monocle, let me know. I hope it didn't roll onto the floor. Nobody move. Poor guy. Oh, no. I'm stuck here forever. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I'd go for help, but I'm afraid to walk around like this. I can't reach it. How am I supposed to work? Oh, no. I'll never be able to afford a new one. I bet my mom would help me find it. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. Dang, I've lost my monocle again. I hope I didn't lose it. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my, um, sister once had. anything special about it, then again, they never really have understood art. It's already open. I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. Nice. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. They look pretty old. They look pretty old. It doesn't seem to stay closed. It doesn't seem to stay closed. That doesn't seem to work. That won't do anything. I don't want to polish that. It doesn't seem to stay closed. Can't dig that, Daddy. Get out! I was just leaving. I thought I told you to get out!
They're sleeping peacefully. That wouldn't be wise. Hey guys! I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I lost it while being keel-hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. You're supposed to be cooking. I had to buy some eggs. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Hey! Hired help only! Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. doesn't seem to work. That won't do anything. I don't like styrofoam. It's bad for the environment. I hate Bishy Swaz. No, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. 
No, thanks. <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Welcome to Woodtick. No treads are hunting zone. I'd better not do any more damage. Display model. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Have you brought me any more ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Do you have the final ingredient? I'll bring it later. Good. Now go. Looks closed. Mm, looks closed. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Mm, looks closed. I can't pick that up. Steam and weenies. Twenty feet. We don't have any marshmallows. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. Uh, too heavy. Looks like it's been sealed shut, but then again, why would I want to go in there? It looks like it's been sealed shut. 
It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. It looks like it's been sealed shut. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Here lie the Gordo brothers, too big for any ship. Let's hope the Earth can hold them. Nice. I don't want any more gross bones. Here forever. If I don't find it soon, I'm going to lose all the monocle grabbing muscles in my eye. Everything looks all blurry. Yeah, me too. I never hurt anyone. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. If you see my monocle, let me know. For crying out loud. I can't reach it. Why me? I'm stuck here forever. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. I'd rather keep it. I've lost my monocle again. I'm such a dope. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. I'd go for help, but I'm afraid to walk around like this. Crud. I'll never be able to afford a new one. I swear I put it right. Here. 